character that's long been hypersexualized gets a rebrand with the Tomb Raider reboot. Lara Croft is no longer a sex symbol protagonist in this rendition, so can she become a feminist icon? Star Alicia Vikander hopes so. I'm Terry Hart, and in today's Entertainment City, a Tomb Raider for the Times. It will be an adventure. And in the world that we live in now, I, you know, I, I love that it was integrated for, you know, young women to feel like it's a feminine young woman who's also has some physical strength. At a time of a seismic shift in Hollywood's attitude toward women, the new Tomb Raider movie moves away from Lara Croft's beginnings, which date back to 1996 and the first Tomb Raider video game when Croft became the first main female heroine in gaming, acting as a catalyst for more female leads to follow. But she was presented in barely their clothes with a tiny waist and ginormous breasts. The result was that Croft became both a symbol of female self-empowerment and an object of sexual desire. Pardon me if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. When the first film adaptation of Tomb Raider came out in 2001, Angelina Jolie certainly kicked butt as a very strong Lara Croft. You might try to kill me. I'm not going to kill you. I said you'd try. But it was still a film whose protagonist was hypersexualized. Fast forward to 2018 and Vikander as Lara Croft, who brings a modern, fierce feel to the character, not unlike Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. This adaptation is based on a 2013 reboot of the Tomb Raider video game, which cast Lara as more of a survivalist with deeper character development. Of course, you know, I grew up watching Angelina Jolie make her into an icon on the screen with, with the films back then, but we can make something uh, that can be relatable for a 2018 audience that will be something new, uh, a very kind of human uh, connection to this character. I was proud of everyone involved who decided to make sure that these films need to be come up to the surface. I, whilst filming this, uh, or actually just wrapping it up, I went and saw Wonder Woman. I was just floored. I was growing up thinking that I would never see anything like it. People are so hungry for these stories that sadly haven't been shined a light upon before. And later this week, we'll hear more from Vikander and her Tomb Raider co-stars, including a scoop on the seriously intense training they went through to get ready for the movie.